Hello Simpilots and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're checking out the printer in the A32NX that's coming up next. First of all if you're new to the channel I'd like to give you a very warm welcome and thanks for joining us and if you're a returning viewer then welcome back again. As always if you find value in this video then smash that like button and hit subscribe it really helps us out. I couldn't make this video for a while every time I tried to press the print button I would just crash to desktop without fail. No matter what I tried, I couldn't get it working. But after the last Flyby update for Sim Update 7, it's finally working. So let's have a look at what we can do with it. First things first, you want to head on over to the Flypad. Head over to the settings, Atsu AOC. And over here you see you've got your ATIS and ATC source. And you can select which one you want to use. I've got it selected on VATSIM because I normally fly on VATSIM. The Meta as well, I've got it selected on VATSIM. But if you're flying offline, you can use FAA and you can use Meteor Blue. This just changes the, the ATIS and the META information you get from the MCDU. It doesn't change the actual weather. So I'm going to leave it on VATSIM and again on VATSIM over there. Then TELEX, make sure TELEX is selected on. And what you can do with that is that you can use free text on the MCDU. And that will send text messages to other users that are flying the A32 Annex as long as you have their call sign or you can check them on the map I'll show you that now and you can send them free text messages I'll show you how that works so yes you can enable that over there and then if you head on over to your MCDU and you go to MCDU menu ATSU AOC menu and here you have weather request and ATSUS so let's do weather request first you can weather type, you can get the meta, you can get the terminal area forecast. And yeah, you go to airport. So I'm currently on route from Los Angeles to San Francisco. And um, there's alternates as well. So if you want to use, if you want to get the meta for all three of those, you can leave them as they are. Or you can clear the ones you don't want. And you can also input your own ones if you want different ones. So let's say we want the meta for Los Angeles. In San Francisco we hit send it says queued give it a few seconds and then you have a look here you'll see you'll have a company message there it is you can go back you can re hit return you go to received messages there we go meta hit that there and there's giving us the meta for Los Angeles and San Francisco so you can scroll down and read it and then if you hit the print button there it prints it right there once it's been printed you can select it and you can stick it in there for easy reading and as you can see there we've got Meta Los Angeles and Meta for San Francisco what we can also do we can get the ATIS weather information as well for the airport so let's do our arrival airport which is San Francisco so Kilo Sierra Foxtrot Oscar, stick that in there and format for MCDU, change it to printer and hit send. Again we wait a couple of seconds. Once company message pops up there, we can hit received messages. There it's got the first one. And yeah, the second one you see by the time that was the first one, that's the second one. It's ATIS and there it says ATIS info not available. That's because there's no controllers online on VATSIM at the moment. So let me go back up here to settings, ATIS source, let's go FAA and then we'll try again. So if we do the same thing with the same airport, now it should work. So let's go ATIS, Kilo Sierra. Foxtrot, Oscar, Printer, Send. Again, we'll wait a few seconds. There we go, company message. So let's go back. Receive messages. Let's go to the new one. And there we have our ATIS information. So ATIS information India, 1356 Zulu. Winds 1407 knots, 10 statute miles, few clouds 200, temperature 10. You can read the whole access information. 
all the way down and then you can print it as well so once you've printed it and you have a look here it'll start printing again There we go, it's been printed, you can select it and put it back up there again. Now as you can see we have more than one page over here, so what we can do is we can scroll between the pages by pressing the left and right arrow key, and then if you hit right again, that'll switch the pages back again. Right, then the last thing I want to show you is the free text. So if you go on over to the Fly by Wire website and you head on to over to the map, yeah on the map you can see all the aircraft that are flying on Microsoft Flight Simulator using the A32 NX mod and you can send them a message as well. If you select an aircraft here, you can see their flight plan and their flight number. So you can send them a message using their call sign. So flight 268, flight 1090, yeah, American Airlines 124. You'd go back to your MCDU. You would go to free text. So you can stick in the call sign that you want to send it to, so American Airlines 518 and then you can type your message and stick it in there below. So you can say hello, I'm just going to put that there for now, and then you can send it. And it'll say message sent, and then on their side they'll have a company message sent there, and then they could receive, they would go to receive messages, and then they would find it over there. And so far, I haven't tested it out. I haven't received a message. I've heard nobody send me a message. I haven't been able to send anybody a message that's replied. I've tried randomly, but I've never received a reply. I don't know if they read it or if they just forget about me or they're just not interested. Anyway, I need to get set up for my descent into San Francisco. So just a quick video showing you that the printer is now working again with no crash to desktops. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.